Hello everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name's Amanda and in today's video we're going to be doing a jungle inspired set of nails. So last summer I see these on Instagram quite a lot but I didn't get a chance to do a set so I thought now would be the time. Now as a nail tech I do lots of different nail art designs but sometimes it's really hard to think of some so if there's any particular designs you would like to see or any kind of techniques please do pop them in the comments below because sometimes it's lovely to have some feedback on some designs you would like to see and get some inspiration. But anyway on to today's set I'm working on some display tips and I'm going to come in with a layer of RB01. This is the milky white rubber base. So I'm just applying a really thin layer of this and I really work this into the natural nail plate. I'm just going to show you guys it on one nail but I did exactly the same on all five nails and then we're going to pop them in to cure of course if you was working on yourself or a client you would do all your prep and apply your primer before you come in with your base coat now for our colored bases I'm going to be using Kiki London's coconut with Kiki London's black heart so I want three of the nails to have a nice white base and then I want the thumb and little finger to have a black base you're not really going to be seeing that black base as we are going to be using some foils on those nails but for the foils that I'm going to be using, I did feel as though a black base would work best. Now, when it comes to applying your gel polish colors, I like to keep them nice and thin. Usually I would do two coats of my gel polish color, especially when I'm doing a sort of base for my nail art. But where I had the milky white base underneath, I didn't feel as though coconut needed two coats. So I'm only gonna do a one coat of all the colors. Black Heart is a very pigmented black anyway, and because we're going to be coming over the top with the foils that definitely wouldn't have needed two coats but I'm keeping all those coats of color nice and thin especially when you're working with dark colors like black you want to make sure that you're applying your gel polish really really thin because black gel polish can wrinkle when you pop it into your UV or LED light if you apply it too thickly so I've kept everything nice and thin, cured them, and this is what they're looking like. Like I said, RB01 gives you a really nice base to work on top of. Now we are going to be using a couple of colors from the new Exotic Summer Collection. So here I have Paradise Red, Just Peachy, and the third color I'm going to be using on this now is Exotic Mango. We do also come in with Parrot Green further along in the video as well. If you'd like to see swatches of the new Exotic Summer Collection, I will leave the swatch video linked in the description box below. They are absolutely gorgeous shades. So on to the first now, I'm working over the top of one of those coconut bases. And I want to start off by doing a ombre base. We are going to be doing a little bit now like on the side of this, but I kind of want to have a nice ombre base to begin with. So I've taken Paradise Red, Just Peachy and the Exotic Mango. And then I'm going to come in and ombre them using the Kiki London Ombre Brush. Now, when I'm doing a three color ombre, I work very similar to doing a two color ombre. So I'm gonna start off blending the bottom two colors together. And I start off in the center of the nail, just blending out the line where the colors two meet. Then I'm gonna wipe off my brush on one of the Kiki London alcohol pads. And I'm gonna blend that middle color into the exotic mango. Then we're going to jump up to the top and blend the Paradise Red into the Just Peachy. This created a really lovely shade. It turned that just peachy in the center to a more darker orangey coral color. So it kind of worked really nicely as a nice transition between the paradise red and the exotic mango. Now, as you see, whenever my brush goes out of shot, I am cleaning it off on one of the Kiki London alcohol pads just to make sure I don't take any colors into colors that I don't want them to go into. So keeping your ombre brush clean is a must. Then I often have a little look at my ombre and see where needs a little bit of work. So you can see the blend between the Paradise Red just needed working in a little bit more. This is only the first coat and on an ombre, your first coat is never going to look perfect. So don't stress too much. Once we've cured that, I was really happy actually with how these colors are blended together, but we are gonna come in and do a second coat of color. So starting off applying that Paradise Red up at the top of the nail, and then we're gonna apply the Just Peachy and the Exotic Mango. Now I'm really loving ombre and these colors together. Ombre nails are one of my absolute favorite things to do, but these particular colors in this collection, a lot of them ombre together really, really beautifully. This created such a gorgeous, 
gorgeous kind of like sunset background you could pop so many different hand painted nail art ideas over the top of a base like this Again, I'm going to do exactly the same technique as before. So I always start by blending out where the two colours meet and then taking that new colour that you've created into the middle down into the one colour and then up into the other colour. And I find this gives you a nice transitional shade. But again, always making sure I clean off my brush before I go on to a new section of the nail. Blending the Paradise Red into the Just Peachy was probably quite tricky because the Paradise Red is very, very pigmented and it's a lot darker than the Just Peachy. But just take your time, work very gentle and light with your ombre brush. Obviously, it looks like I'm working quite quick because the video is sped up. But if you just take your time and work quite lightly with it, you can create a really nice blend. Do not stress about any brush marks that are in your gel polish. If you leave your nail to settle for a few seconds before, before curing, it reduces those brush strokes anyway. But when you come in and top coat, your top coat blurs all of them as well. So once that is cured, I'm going to take a little bit of coconut on my palette. And for this now, I wanted to have a section carved out that was white. So I found this to be the easiest way of doing it. There may be other ways and different nail techs are going to work with different techniques. But this was the technique I found easiest for this because I want one section of the nail to be white because that's the section we're going to do our little bit of animal hand, hand painted animal print on. So I'm taking my stripe liner brush and I'm kind of just carving out a swoosh across the nail. And I'm working quite thin with this because I'm just mapping it out, trying to work out what I want the shape to be I didn't want it to be quite harsh straight lines or anything like that I wanted it to be a quite nice smooth just swoosh taking out that angle of the nail and then I'm going to come in with my bottle brush and just fill in all that section making sure that the gel polish is applied nice and evenly that there's no lumps or bumps and everything is nice and smooth then we're going to pop that in to cure for 30 seconds and we do need to do a second coat one because I've worked nice and thin with the coconut and two I want there to be a nice bright white base I don't want to be able to see any of those colors underneath so again coming in with a stripe liner brush to begin with just to get a nice neat swoosh and then filling in with that bottle brush to get a nice even application if you was doing this on a smaller nail or working on a small natural nail bed I would recommend coming in with the Kiki London round nail art brush rather than your bottle brush just because it's a little bit smaller and then again we're going to cure that for 30 seconds now this step you is completely optional I do this step in videos because I find it a little bit easier to hand paint over a matte top coat so a matte surface one because it reduces the glare on the nails in the video and you can kind of see the hand painting a little bit easier and then also I just find it a lot easier to hand paint over a matte surface because your gel polish doesn't bleed as much but like I said it is completely optional so once we had cured that matte top coat, this is what the nails are looking like whilst it's matte. Then I've popped some of the Kiki London Black Cut down onto my Kiki London palette. And I'm going to come in with the stripe liner brush and I'm just going to draw on some animal print. So for this particular design, I didn't have any one particular animal print in mind. I had a little glance on Pinterest and I just look at animal print, not necessarily always on nails, sometimes on prints like wool art, sometimes just some general animal print like on real animals and then I kind of just like to pick out some of the shapes so for example here we've got a bit of a zebra print grow going on and then it's going to fade down into giraffe print because I wanted these to be quite I don't know I want them to be a little bit more different and like I said I wanted to have that bit of a jungle vibe so I wanted to tie in a few different animal prints rather than keeping with just the one it's really really easy to draw on these kind of shapes because you don't have to stress about the lines being perfectly straight or anything like that wiggle your brush and create kind of like a bumpy effect and it looks a little bit more realistic in a way if that makes sense obviously I don't imagine many zebras or giraffes have a neon stripe across them but it gives off a little bit more of a realistic effect for the giraffe print it kind of just looked like unusual wonky hexagon shapes so I just went for that 
And this is what that looked like when that now was finished. So we're gonna move on to the second now. Now the second now is a little bit of an easier one. We're gonna take Paradise Red Exotic Mango, just peachy. And then this is where I'm gonna come in with a little bit of the parrot green. Oh no, we don't actually use just peachy on this now. I decided to just use the three because I was adding in the parrot green and I didn't want there to be too many different colors on the one nail. And then for this part of the leopard print, we're going to swap to the detail brush because it has a lot more of a shorter now length brush than the stripe liner brush. And it's also a little bit thicker. So it's easier to do these kind of designs with. Now for our leopard print spots, we don't want them to be circular spots because if you look at leopard print, as I'm sure you know, it's not these perfect round circles. They're kind of like wonky circles I guess you could call them now I'm starting off with some larger ones at the top of the now in the paradise red then we're going to go slightly smaller with the exotic mango and just fit on a few at the bottom with the parrot green now this is super super simple to do as you can see I just place my brush down and kind of just wiggle it out go around a little bit and make sure that that isn't a perfect round shape. We are going to come around these with the black heart to draw on the black parts of the spots as well but I just wanted to get these green the coloured ones down first of all. Then I'm going to flash cure these in place so I'm not going to fully cure I'm just going to do a 10 second flash cure. If you have the 96 watt kiki london led lamp which i have pictured when i show you my cure times that lamp is amazing because it has a 10 second flash cure feature which i find so handy when i'm doing any kind of hand painted nail art 10 seconds isn't going to fully cure your gel polish but it freezes it in place enough so that if you make any mistake like i just did there you're able to come in and wipe it off without disturbing whichever whatever you've flash cured basically so it means i flash cured those colors and then i'm able to easily come in with the jack black gel polish and just paint around the edges to finish off the part of our leopard print again with this step you don't want to keep it smooth and crisp lines I kind of go around and then wriggle my brush out a little bit to create like a bit of a point on the edge of some of them get again I was just working from some animal print reference pictures for this and then once I have painted on all of these, I do again flash cure the black into place and then we're going to swap to the Kiki London dotting tool and just add on some little black dots to kind of fill in that white space a little bit just so it's not too plain if that makes sense just because I want to fill it in a little bit more and also again if you look at leopard print they do usually have a few smaller spots in amongst their larger ones so I'm just coming in using the dotting tool I absolutely love this dotting tool it has such a nice rounded point on it that you get a perfect little dot really really easily if you feel as though your dots are getting a little bit too small then just come in with a little bit more gel polish then we're going to pop that now in to cure for 30 seconds and move on to the next one. This one I thought was a really, really fun, easy design. Definitely easy to tie in with some salon friendly nails if you didn't want to do too much nail art. On to the third now, I'm going to take those colours that I've already got down on my palette. I added a little bit of Just Peachy because I want to include all four colours on this now. And then with my ombre brush, I want to get these kind of rough lines so as you see when I dipped into my gel polish I brushed out the excess so I had a bit of it on the tips of my ombre brush and then I'm just brushing them down I don't want to blend the colors together I want it to look quite random and kind of a bit like an abstract vibe we are going to be doing a little bit of hand painting over the top of this so this base doesn't need to be perfect but I really love this look but you need only a little bit of gel polish on the tips of your ombre brush to do this if you apply too much it ends up looking like patches and you lose those sort of rough jagged lines so as you see I go into my gel polish and then brush off some of the excess and then I'm kind of just making sure I cover a lot of the white. I don't want to see too much of the white through the nail, but I didn't want to blend those colors together because I wanted it to have that rough textured effect. I really, really love this now. I haven't done this technique in a really long time, so it was really fun to do. I love the splashes of color. And another thing I wanted to point out is how different Paradise Red looks over a white base. It gives it a kind of a neon pink vibe. So if you haven't got a neon pink in your collection, but you have have the new paradise red you could try it over a layer of coconut and it would give off that bright pink vibe rather than the more darker red vibe 
Again, I'm then going to come in and matte top coat simply so I have a matte surface to work on top of. This step is completely optional. And then again, we're going to come on and paint on some more of our animal print. And with this one, I wanted the shapes to be quite large so that we're able to still see a lot of that color underneath. But I also wanted it to have that bit of a furry texture. So I'm just painting on my shape and then using the very tip of my stripe liner brush, I'm feathering it out. So it kind of gives off that furred textured effect. And I thought it looked really, really fun, especially over the kind of bright neon looking base where we've got that white base and we've only done a one coat or sort of one rough splash of the colors they look quite neon and a little bit more bright rather than how they look when you've done a two coats over a natural or a nude color so I'm just going to do this all the way down the nail, but I, like I said, I don't want to cover the nail too much. So I'm spacing all of those stripes and patterns out a little bit, just so we are still able to see the color underneath. Because I really, really liked this effect underneath. I do think this nail would look fun just as it is without any nail art over the top. I'm really loving adding nail art over the top of colored bases at the moment, though. I really like that layered fun effect it gives off, especially for all of the summer nails. This is really, really easy to do as well. So if you are new to hand painting, I would definitely give techniques like this a go because it really helps you learn how to control your brushes and how to control and work with your gel polish without having to worry about creating super crisp lines or drawing on things like hearts and birds and flowers i always have found animal print a lot easier to do if you are just practicing i'm not amazing at hand painting myself but these are always a lot of fun to do this whole design was really fun to do to be honest and as always all of the products i've used are all from kiki london so if you check the description box below i do list everything that you you can purchase and the links to the Kiki London website as well. So that's our three main nail art designs done. The first one and the last one were definitely my two favorites. So now we're going to move on to our foil nails. So we have already got our black heart base and I'm going to come over the top of that with a layer of the Kiki London foil gel. I feel like it's a little while since I've done any full cover nail foils and I've never used the particular ones that I use here. So I was excited to give them a go. I'm I'm really making sure that that foil gel covers the entire nail because we are going to be covering the entire nail with the foil. So you want to make sure you're getting along those side walls and right around the tips of the nail and then popping that in to cure for 30 seconds. And then here I have the Vibrant Rainbow Nail Art Foils. So like I said, I've never used these ones before, but they look so fun. And I thought this one especially tied in a lot of the colors that we have used in the nails. So I'm gonna cut out a small piece of that foil and I'm gonna stick it straight down on the nail when they come out of the lamp. So once that foil gel has cured and still feels quite warm, that's when I like to apply my foil straight on. I start off by pressing it down with my thumb just to make sure it's made good contact with the nail and then I'm going to run my, rub my thumbs over the top and then I like to switch to my silicone tool to help ease out the creases and then I kind of switch between using my thumb to getting really good contact obviously when you're using your own thumb or finger you can feel yourself how well that is contacted and then we're going to peel it off then I'm just going to tap over some of the little areas where there was still some creases just to fill in any little areas and look how gorgeous this foil looks kind of like a foil ombre i really really liked it then because we are going to be doing some stamping over the top i want to come in and seal my foil in so because i already had my matte top coat to hand i sealed it in with the no wipe matte top coat and then i ended up really really loving the matte effect so off camera i did exactly the same to the other nail and i just really loved the effect it gave off so i did decide in this set to keep these two nails matte I love foils where a metallic with a matte finish, but I'd never seen these ones or done these ones myself with a matte finish. So I just had to keep them matte in this set. And as you guys know, I love a set of nails that have a combination of both matte and glossy. So I had to keep that in. Over the top, I'm gonna to stamp on some of these tropical looking jungle themed leaves. So I'm starting off with a white one, stamping down that larger leaf, and then coming over the top with a smaller one in the black because I really liked how we've got on the other nails we've got a lot of color and then a little bit of black so on these nails I wanted to make sure I had the same the colored bases and a little bit of black and white 
I really, really love stamping and gel polish going together as well. It, stamping is a great way to add a little bit of nail art to your gel polish sets, especially over the top of foils. I think I really loved how these two nails turned out. So I did exactly the same on the other nail. I just reversed it though. So the larger images in the black and the smaller ones in the white, just to mix it up a little bit. And we're then going to come in and top coat now that we've finished all of our design. So I'm going to be using a combination of the no white matte top coat and the no white top coat for a glossy effect. I decided I just wanted to have the two last nails matte. So we're going to do the thumb and little finger with the matte top coat. And then I'm going to use the glossy top coat on the middle three nails. This was a bit of a random set of nails, but it was a really, really fun design to do. The... My favourite now in the set, it definitely was the pointer finger. It was really, really fun to do, but I just love the clash between the colourful ombre and the black and white print. But please do let me know in the comments below which was your favourite nail. And as I said at the start of the video, if you have any video requests, please do pop them in the comments below, whether it be a colour combination, a specific design, a specific technique, let me know and I would love to give it a go. So once we had finished applying that top coat, we're going to pop these in to have their final cure. And then this guys is the finished result. I absolutely, absolutely loved them. And they're definitely a set that I would wear on myself because I love these really fun, random mixed nail art designs. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I hope wherever you are, you have a little bit of sunshine and you're able to enjoy it. Have a wonderful weekend. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.